Right, hello and welcome back to Starfield. So I've done a bit of, uh, already done a bit of my uh, shopping and trading and selling and that so far. Um, most of the stuff I've got left now is just weaponry. So I'm basically going to be going out and just clearing them out of uh, all the uh, all the money just with the weapons I've got knocking about now. Um, Uh, oh, they're in and out. I need some something worth about a grand-ish. Right, that'll do. But we are approaching. Hey, what can I do for you? Being the correct, what's it? Being a, a, our weight limit. We're actually getting to that point. Won't be long now. Still got the bodies here. Lovely. It's nice being able to just walk across the town. And not nearly die. The annoying thing is, though, we've still got this cramping affecting us, so I have to stay still to regain oxygen now. So that's being a bit of a problem. Um, but <coughs> we can make it over here. We do need to wait for the shops to recover their inventory, so I'll save you the trouble and just wait it myself. Right, and here we are. We should have got more inventory available at the shops now. Should be no problem. Oh, there is a bit she's glitching. If it belongs, oh, please take a look. Right, we have some more weapons. We've got. Uh, a calibrated tombstone, the regulator here. Um, I yeah, we're not using that, are we? If I remember, our ultra mag is higher. I think we've got one down here. Where is our ultra mag thing? Just fire there. Um. Mag shot, that's what it's called. 109 now, that's again because we've got the uh, perk now for pistol damage. So it's gone up a fair bit. Yeah, the uh, regulator here just won't really be enough anymore at this point in the game. Um, I might keep the Grendel and the Razorback here though. Um... And let's see, the modified calibrated bridger. I think that's the same as ours. Yeah, calibrated modified bridger, 190. Yeah, get rid of that. Oh, wow, we're already... Yeah, they're already out of uh, credits, apparently. Yep. They do not have many to, to spare, do they, at the shops? And we're slowly but surely getting closer and closer to being uh, underweight again. And not being completely and utterly encumbered. But, as you can see, it's just mostly... I've grabbed a few weapons off the Adoring Fan as well. And some of the old gear that he's not using anymore. So I've kind of done a bit of inventory management on his part too. But for the most part, yeah, we're just... Oh, that's the bodies again. I'm surprised they haven't turned into skeletons or something at this point. Anyway, we keep going and we'll just see what we're getting for each um, each weapon. We're slowly building up this really nice fund for our uh, ship modifications. We should be able to completely revamp the thing. Right, what have we got? Uh, we're definitely keeping that. We have got... What else have we got down here? Um, these Lawgivers can go. Side Star, yep, yeah, that can go. Equinox. Lawgiver, yep. Um, we've got 1.3 foul left. 
Get rid of that. Is anything worth about 500? No, no it is not. Right. The more weight you carry, the broader your shoulders become. My respect On that note, we'll go and reset the inventory then and see how much actually how much are we up to now. Oh, we're finally not dying from poisoning anymore. As well, that's nice. Uh, we're still getting cramping though. Unfortunately. Right. And of course, after another quick nap, we've got... Let's see. What do we still need to sell here? Um, the Orion can go. The Bridger, the Urban Eagle. Um, might put them on the wall. Um, hmm. Is that everything? More or less, yes. I'm looking at it and... Am I really using that anymore? Not really. I've more or less moved on to the Justifier at this point. I think I can probably get rid of this. Um, find Equinox. That's not bad. Right. In that case... Let's get rid of this rifle. Oh, we're selling it for less than... Oh, we've only got a few hundred left now. Right. Okay. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. We should be able to sell everything else to the... Uh, to the Trade Authority. Also, our poisoning has uh, cured up, so that's nice. Need some work done? Right, let's get selling. More or less got rid of it all now, but we'll have a look at uh, where are we? In fact, I'm wondering what I want to get rid of at this point. We can get rid of that. Look at you. Over encumbered, but pressing on. Find Equinox 58. Beowulf is 25. It's fully auto, though. It has a bajillion million rounds, apparently. <laughs> um. That might be the lot. Right. I think the others I'm going to put on the display units at the house. Oh, there might have been some clothing items as well. Hang on. So that's to go on a mannequin. That, Superior Constellation spacesuit. That's for a mannequin. That's for a mannequin. Don't know where I got it from, but... Hmm. It's getting sold anyway. And I had some old April and things that I'd grabbed out of the, the fans' inventory. Right. And we've got two of these. As well as, I accidentally picked that up. Still got the probe control unit. I guess that's going to, uh, on display at the house as well. Right. Okay, and on to the ship. Let's just store all resources okay we are at exactly 160 mass right now if you can believe it
So now we need to kind of just. In fact, I'm heading into the ship, but of course, we can do it from the menus here. Um. Crap. I hate these menus. Right. Now we in. Go. Um. No, it's not now. We're going for the house. That's the outpost. Olympus. For the house. It wasn't selecting for a second there, we're just going to throw him into a forest. Right. We'll drop these items off, put up a mannequin, and then I think we'll get to work on putting a cool ship together, upgrading all of our weapons and things, and we'll go from there. Right. I'm actually wondering now if I've got enough materials on me to make a new mannequin. Hmm. Luckily we've got enough weapon things here. Certainly got enough of them. Right. Old weapons. What do we want? Um. That. And that will work. Um. Fit another onto this. We can't, right? Is that everything actually? Well, we've got that that we can put on. Um, I'm wondering if I'm done with this mag shot. It's only got 85 rounds. It's 109 damage, but actually, I could keep this on me because it's got 200 and odd rounds. Mind you, I'm saying that, and of course we have honors. We've got where is it? We've got this thing that does, you know, basically 135. Um with an extended mag on it <laughs> with no mods and has over 200 rounds like this is the obvious thing we're going to use I should straight up just drop even like the old uh, mag shot and things here Um, right. Shotgun wise, we have probably we're going to move to the experiment A7. Um, we've got a rifle there. As far as assault rifles go, we've got the Beowulf there. Ah, that's it. We've got the Professionals Calibrated here. And the Commanders Calibrated. Right. 
I didn't notice I'd got two there. I thought I'd sold the other. Right, let's equip one. Then we can compare. The cal the commander's calibrated has faster fire rate and lower mass. Both got long barrel reflex sight, suppressors, ergonomic grip, forget with recon laser sight, armor piercing rounds, fully auto, one's got a hair trigger. So the professionals is gonna be going, isn't it? Right, we've got it down to something more manageable now. I'm even wondering if we should be taking this Equinox. Because that's becoming a bit... I mean, it's getting to the point of redundancy, but we'll see. Um, we might want to just use up the some of the rounds for it. Um... So this is the deep recon set. We've got the we've got here. I think most of that is just all spares from uh, the annoying fan. Uh, from the annoying fan. I think these two are ones that I've actually worn through. So do I have enough for? So I think usually they require aluminium. Adhesive, a mannequin. We just need an adhesive. Ah, right. And we need one more adhesive. <laughs> right. Well, what we'll do for now. Put that in, that in, and that on. And equip them all on it. Never deterred, our hero strives for. Also, can I put some more stuff on display in these? Notes, aid, ammo. Oh. What are we wanting to put on display? Vague one with or something. I think what did I miss? No, it was. It must have been. Job control unit. Oh, we can put it somewhere. Ah, the little prongs that stick out after not be clipping with anything. Right. NASA mugs clipped through, aren't it? Uh, where to put a probe control unit in here? Personally, I would put it on the shelf. But I can't seem to aim correctly to get it on there. Okay, hang on. Yeah, that's going to be weird getting it on there, isn't it? Right.
Oh, we've got another knick-knack in there now. Right. The gun collection's getting a bit l large as well now. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a tad. Right. Um, we are going to need to put a mannequin down at some point, though. Um... like stick it on the side here as if I like it change of clothes or something uh, it's probably gonna look weird isn't it sure where I could put this and it look reasonable. I'll just put it at the bottom of the bed. For now. Right. Get the backpack. Too bad you can't place it on top of another item but whatever. And get the helmet. Sure, there, right. And on that note, we should be, yeah, well under mass now. That's more within our normal boundaries that we're used to. Um, right. And I think on that note, we can head out. <laughs> so my next stop is going to be Sol, and I want to go to... I'm going to have to look around for it. Um, where are we? The Nova Galactic Star Yard. In fact, is this the place I'm wanting to... Hmm. I got that mixed up. I'm sure we're meant to be on a planet. Yeah, Nova Galactic Research Station, that says. Ship. Europa. What? New homestead.
I've got a feeling that this isn't exactly what I was wanting. Yeah. I don't think this is, is it? Right, let me have a look on the map again. And I've just looked it up, and yep, it is not this thing that we're after. We're looking for New Homestead. Which I think I've been to before, but I've completely forgotten exactly where it was I wanted to go. Right. This should get us to the Nova Galactic ship vendor. Right, that should get us straight to where I want to be, and we're wanting a new, um, what's it, a new cockpit. Well, we're replacing the cockpit with a bridge, basically. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path, and down into the colony below. Stay safe, and enjoy your visit. Right. I need the ship technician person. Right, is it you? You look like a ship technician. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches in every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Sure, how about it? Right. Uh, builder, and we want to move. Okay, that got rid of all of the weapons as well. Hang on. Let's just hang fire on that. Um, here we are. And this is why we've got all the ranks in Starship design. Now in the meantime, they have to be moved somewhere, so yeah. Hang on then. Actually, I'm not wanting to get rid of it just yet, are we? Right. Now we can get rid of that. Just attach that there. Right. That'll do for now. And it's going to cost me an absent bomb. Luckily, we've now got 186 uh, thousand credits because of all that that stuff we've been doing so pretty good um, right and away we go now we want to head back to... Uh, now we want to go to Narion and go to our... What's it over there? Our... Outpost. Right. 
Right. Should be good. That is becoming a big ship that we've got now. Right. Let's go and put it together. You almost bang your head on it on the way in. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I don't know why we're going in. It's no, we want this computer back here, don't we? That's where we do all the stuff from. Uh, this one, right? Yes. Right. This could be a while. Right, I think we've stripped off most of the components and things. We've got our fuel tanks over here. We've got the shielded cargo there. Regular cargo here. Uh, I've just kind of glued them all together. Uh, we've got the docker. Our grav drive shield system. We've got the thrust, the thrusters here and set all the separate types. We've got the White Dwarf 2000 engines there and the triple engine stack. One of which is an Ammon 3. The others are Ammon 1s. We've got our Grav Drive here for Class C ships and our reactor. Now, this reactor requires, uh, let's see, it is a Class C reactor and it generates 20 power. I'm just wondering what we could get instead. So, this one, we're piloting rank 4 and Starship Design Level 1 will do 27 power. Um, what have we got here? We've got a 30 rated power system here. That's Class C. Um, looks to be the most expensive as well, so... Just a quick flip through of them all here. Yeah, that looks to be the one that we're probably wanting to upgrade to. So we can basically upgrade to get 50% more power from uh, that thing there, right? Meaning this can be gotten rid of. We don't get much cash back for it all, but... Right. Um, we're going to want to think about our weapon systems as well. Um, where can I actually get some... Uh, Hmm. So I'm wondering if there's automatic weapons. I know that there's the automatic turrets that exist in the game. Ah, is this the difference? This, is it these ones that are label, labelled turret, maybe? Auto neutral turret. Um. I might give that a quick look up for a second see if we can find out where to get turrets. Or well, which ones of these are all turrets because I don't know if it means turret as in it's an automated weapon system that I don't have to aim it'll just do it itself. Or does it just mean that it spins around and fires in all different directions, I don't know. I'm guessing seeing as whenever we're firing it always has to be where we're facing so the only weapons we control are front facing ones. I'm guessing anything labelled turret is probably an automatic, uh, automated turret, so I'll just take a moment to find that out. Right, and one quick check online uh, later, and who'd have guessed it? The automated turrets, and it does seem to be the case that these, if they've got turret in the name, they are basically a uh, uh, they are an automated weapon so now we know right we'll get these weapon mounts off then the whole thing 
is basically going to be built around this. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we'll be using the Nova Galactic stuff. Um, we probably get a go, but yeah, it looks like we're probably going to be going uh, a bit of a mixture between things. And I'm probably going to update some of the old modules like we've updated the reactor so we're going to get significantly more power now um i think the grav drive's fine it's not like you need a really good one it just gets you from here to there you know it's not like oh i really need to have it spin up quick mm, no we're not spending money on useless tat like that but i might do up the engines a bit get some cool looking ones maybe if there's some that I, that take me fancy I want to be careful not to destroy on accident this Nova Galactic Frontier Hub. So this is a unique one, you can't buy it anywhere and you get it by basically your ship being the Frontier. Like that's a unique one for the Frontier ship. So I probably want to keep that. I probably want to widen everything down here so that it's three wide rather than just one. So we're going to have a fat ship after this. Um, I'm trying as well to see if I can build it without there being tons of ladders if possible. What I'm actually thinking is maybe making this like a bridge. Um, I have a big ass bridge at the top that goes down. I might, well, I'm saying I'd like to avoid ladders when possible and, and I would. But I think the way it's going to go is we're probably going to have, I'm thinking of making this like massive and on the top. And then, um, you know, like a typical sci-fi bridge on a ship. It's right up at the top. And then the ship's kind of down below. And having, like, all the hab modules there with, like, turrets and cargo on top. And then taking, um, having a big uh, docking uh, port, maybe, at the front and an entranceway onto it on the side. Something on those lines, I'm thinking. Right. Um, with that in mind, I'll get to work. Um, I'm probably going to just call it an episode here. And we'll continue on. And I'll show you my finished build next time. Because I've got a... I'm probably going to be here. If, uh, I'm guessing a solid hour or two. But, yeah, I'm thinking automated weapon systems along the top of it, and then, like, a bunch of big, like, weapon mounts where there's just a bunch of cannons all strapped together and stuff, and just seeing how cool we can make it look. Um, and also, we need some uh, cargo slots. I'd like to replace these maybe with, like, um, a bunch of, uh, what's it... Make something a bit more industrial looking and have those, uh, where the cargo ones now, the, uh, cargo. Yeah, go for, I mean, hmm, there's a few things that we could do. Like, we could have some that look more like part of the ship, that's an option. Or alternatively, we can go for these massive, like, freight container things, if we want it to look more industrial. I'm... I'm a bit undecided at the moment. We'll see how the rest of the ship takes form and which ones would kind of work with it. Um, also, I think, though I'm not entirely certain, if I go to cockpits now, because... No, it's still... Yeah, you still don't have access to everything here, do you? Even though I've bought this massive, like, ship bridge... It doesn't like add it to the things that I can buy here. Which is unfortunate. I wish it did that. I wish when you went to the home, like the shipyards, like the actual uh, showrooms for them, if it added those parts into your sort of repertoire there, that'd be nice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, a bit of a just take an inventory episode, but I think that. It, it, it wasn't necessary, we needed to sell all that gear, we needed to go about and get some stuff, and this should hopefully be done for next time. 
and I'll probably as well upgrade some weapons and show them off as well so it's not not have two episodes like this in a, in a row back to back we'll get back to the story mission next right I'll see you then <laughs>